Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I think a lot of people are gonna come back from Pemberton this weekend <laughs> saying, wow, I wish I'd seen this segment before I went camping. Yeah, new membership at MEC will go through the roof. We have Stephen Van Eyck joining us from Mountain Equipment Co-op, of course, in Vancouver. We're gonna talk about uh, camping and perhaps even different kinds of campers. How are you, How are you Stephen? Good. Good, thank you. Now, even within your family, are there two, uh, two styles of uh, outdoors people and camping? Well, I grew up pretty much in a uh, a camper, a trailer, you hitch to the back of your car and drive away. And then, of course, we have the tents. The tent as you go. Right. But even within that, I mean, when people are going out, there's so many options when it comes to choosing your equipment and choosing uh, the style that you're going to recreate in the outdoors in. Uh, tell us about this one behind you first, the blue one. This particular tent is uh, the Wanderer 2. I chose this one just because it's a lot of netting. Uh, I think it's great for somebody that's heading out on a weekend, you know, they want to do a little car camping. Yeah. Uh, and now, car campers are the ones that just pack up a car and go. That's right. That's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just and you have a pretty like? good idea what the weather is going to be yeah, for those two days. Yeah, it's flush, you know, they <laughs> got the campfire, they got the oversized pots and pans and stuff like that. So, nice. um, I like this one just because uh, at night, if it's a nice day, you can peel off the the fly, the vestibule, and you have the mesh, and you can sleep under the stars. Well, that's and a good idea. It gives you a little bit more of that outdoor experience. And it looks like it would be nice and light. It is nice and light. It's um, easy to set up. It, it's very easy to set up, and it's quite spacious. You can see you have lots yeah. of overhead room and stuff like that for two people. So if it is actually raining outside, then you can sit in there, play chess, play nice. cards. Is uh, set up one of the most common questions you guys get? How easy is it to set up? How fast? I think the tents nowadays are a lot easier to set fast. up than in the past. Uh, it's basically spider poles. They all come right out very easily and you just stick them in the grommets and away you go and away you go now not tell like us the about old this days one. with the spikes and yeah the exactly poles. you'd yeah. lose the spikes now, wait, this this camp looks or tent looks a little bit more technical is it um i would say it's very similar in that it's got a lot of mesh and but the materials that it's made are slightly lighter materials so for somebody that is perhaps instead of going car camping over the weekend they are going backpacking and they're having to carry it on their on their shoulders, mm -hmm. they're trying to lighten their load up. Absolutely. You're going to shave a couple pounds off by going with that particular tent. And speaking of people that want to go uh, camping and throw things on their back, uh, this is a beautiful pack. Yeah, that's a Gregory Z55, um, part of their uh, fast and light series. So again, uh, people that are looking to shave weight off packs, you know, tents and all their equipment. This one is made of lightweight materials. Gorgeous. And yeah. your back will thank you if you get properly fitted for a pack when you're at MEC. And of it, course, the staff are always willing to help you and show yeah. you how to do it up properly so you That's don't right. end up like this. That's <laughs> right. It's, it, fit is really, really important. You want all the weight to be transferred down to your hips, not on your shoulders, because at the end of the day, you're gonna, your shoulders are going to be quite and tired. And sleeping on that is not going to be comfortable if you've done no. your pack up wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, exactly. Okay, uh, let's talk about people. Uh, is this, I'm assuming, set up for people that aren't really caring that much about weight. You <laughs> assume correctly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is for the car camper. Tell us about this though. This is a sweet setup. So you got stainless steel pot and pots and pans yeah. there. That's a Whisper Light International. Um, basically you can use uh, kerosene, white gas with that particular stove. It's an all time classic. You have this fuel bottle here, which um, uh, has a pump in it and hooks up to there so you can take your kerosene port in here and reuse these particular canisters on the Opposite side, we have a lighter weight version for two people. This particular um, stove and pot. Uh, what's nice is this has a um, a fuel canister attached to the bottom of it, and yeah. it all drops oh, it all fits in. and conceals into your pots and pans. Oh, that's so smart! And then you can close it up, and it occupies very little space very little in your space, pack, which becomes super important. Fiona is uh, she's wrestling with. Um, <laughs> I'm assuming now these are really again. smart, people but that, I am not people. People oh, that I did pack it. light, right? That's what this is. Again, this is uh, uh, that's right. Soon to be. What is this going to be? It's going to be a bowl, Mike. A bowl. Okay. And I'm going to make you wear it on your head. Oh, I did it. Wow, I'm smarter than I failed geometry, but that was. Pretty I thought cool. it was a hat, <laughs> so that shows where yeah. I get to. But this is just one of these things, so that you can carry it with you. It's nice and flat when it's in your pack. That's right. Great little idea. I carry one of these myself uh, in my pack. It takes up very little space when you pack it because you can pack it flat. Yeah. Uh, it cleans easily, and really and even a all, dummy can fold it. And even, <laughs> even <laughs> they have to be careful. <laughs> Dude, it's a trap! It's a trap! And 
<laughs> very you gotta. important. Uh, you have to take your sunscreen, especially if you're uh, you know hiking in BC and you're yeah. above Alpine. Uh, we have a lot of snow this year, so you're gonna get a lot of solar radiation if you're dealing with. This is my favorite brand. This stuff here. Everybody swears by it. this stuff. It's the best. And speaking yeah. of other things that you have to take uh, yeah. when you go, whether you're car camping or whether you're uh, packing stuff in. Yeah, this is actually an ultra light uh, first aid kit. It's uh, basically just a blister kit. Uh, and it's got a little odds and ends in, in there. Uh, just really lightweight to carry for those hiking um, days. There's a lot of things that I could guess what this is, but I'm not good at. Adventure towel. What's an adventure towel? It's just a little pack towel. It's almost like carrying a chamois. Is right? that these, these ones the swimmers use? It's sort of very similar, yeah. It's very similar in material. And what's nice about it is you don't have to carry a full-size towel in your backpack. You have something small like that for nice. those times when you find the alpine lakes you want to swim in. And you want to have a little dip. Well, thank you yeah. so much. We didn't have time to get through everything, including a flashlight that uh, you power yourself, I'm guessing? That's right. Well, an idiot can't that one's <laughs> <laughs> A little idiot. harder to figure out. <laughs> Once again, second trap. <laughs> Steven, go thank you so much. Go to MEC.ca to find out all the info. So you go camping, you don't go, oh, I wish I had that. I wish I had that. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're talking about uh, summer makeup essentials, things that you should have in your makeup kit to get you through the summer weather right after this with everyone through Kiss and Makeup. We'll be right back.